American Baseball's 10th Anniversary Flashback, brought to you by Gatorade. Let's flash back to 1981. The scene was Yankee Stadium. Pitching for New York was reliever Dave LaRoche, and batting for Milwaukee was Gorman Thomas. And their battle is now known simply as La Lob. It was a situation I remember, I think they were running for second and third, and Bob Lemon had just become the manager. He came out to the mound and wanted to know if I wanted to put Gorman on or, or what we wanted to do. And I said, well, how about if I just throw in my curveball? And Lem hadn't seen it yet. He didn't know what my curveball was, my lob. Neither did Thomas, or for that matter, just about everybody else. But they soon found out, because this not-so-classic confrontation ended with a strikeout. La Roach was on the verge of laughter, but Gorman was dormant. What I was really trying to do was trying to hit a home run, because we had blown the Yankees out in that game, and they brought in Dave, and uh, I really didn't know what was going on, because he had two strikes on me, and then here comes the first one. I said, oh, Christ's sake, what is this? And I'd only played one game of uh, slow pitch uh, softball in my life, so I really wasn't sure of the proper technique of hitting it. You know, I threw two or three, and he fouled one off, and then he tried, I think he tried to bunt one, and I uh, tried to sneak a fastball. And everyone was kind of having a good time. I think Gorman was, he, he was a great sport about it, too, because he was having a good time, and it perturbed him a little bit, maybe. I guess there was about 20,000 people in Yankee Stadium, and they were hooting on me pretty good, so I. Tossed the helmet up and slow pitched it up in the air, and I smoked it. Just shattered it. But Thomas got a chance for revenge one year later, in 1982, again at Yankee Stadium. This time, when LaRoche lofted up La Lob, Thomas connected for La Single to left field. But hey, it sure didn't come easy. Well, the second time, I kind of gave him a little smile, and I was thinking to myself, being a fair sport, I thought I would give him another chance. So this time I think I threw him eight or ten straight, and uh, he was fouling them off and foul, pulling them way up in the upper deck. And I mean, the softer I was throwing it, the harder he had swing. Finally, I buried one in the left field and got a line drive and got on first base, and a bunch of the Yankees would give me a lot of crap and more or less tipped my hat and stuck my tongue out, and you know, it was even. <laughs> A fitting way to end La Story. But that's all for now, folks. See you next week on This Week in Baseball.